this problem will solve, solve this. So we got uh, x squared equals 23x plus 50. And um, let me try that again. Let me switch my little paper here. There. Okay. Now let me try it again. Ah. I'm getting there. <laughs> I need to order a new uh, new tablet. There it goes. Okay. Well, first thing, zero factor property it says you have to have zero on one side. Yeah, so that's for our first thing. We you need to take these uh, 23x plus 50 and move them to the left side. You take anything across or equals your sign changes. So the positive 23x becomes a negative 23x. The positive 50 becomes a negative 50. Okay, zero factor property. We got zero on one side. Now we need to factor the other side. This is the PSD method. The reason why it's PSD method is we have x squared x, no x, no number in front of our x squared. PSD method, we take the number at the end, ignoring the sign, which is 50, and we come up with our three columns. Our P column, P for product, we list all the products, give us 50. We got 1 times 50, 2 times 25. 5 times 10. The S column, we add them together. 1 plus 50 is 51. 2 plus 25 is 27. 5 plus 10 is 15. Difference column, we subtract them. Smaller from larger. 50 minus 1 is 49. 25 minus 2 is 23. 10 minus 5 is 5. The number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 23, which is right here. So we're going to use 2 and 25. Now our larger number in the p column that we're using, which is 25, will always be the same sign as the middle term, which in this problem is negative. Now a number we circle is in a difference column. D for different signs means one will be positive, one will be negative. Since we already said 25 is negative, then 2 must be positive. Okay, zero factor property. It says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 2 equal to 0, and I'll set x minus 25 equal to 0. Now in these, I'll take the numbers over to the right side, trying to get x by itself. Take the 2 over, it becomes a negative 2. Anytime you take anything across or equals, your sign changes. Take the negative 25 over, and it becomes a positive 25. And our answers are negative 2 and 25.